on a possession of regulation, did you wait too long to, to make a play, or was that what you were supposed to do? Um, I think that was that was what I was supposed to do. I think I was supposed to have been a little bit further to the left, but that was it. I mean, previously, these are kind of games you guys have kind of closed out. What was the difference today? Uh, they made they made good tough shots, and uh, we didn't execute on uh, on the defensive end and a couple times on offense. So it was a combination of a couple things. Linda, you talked after the West Virginia game about you know as long as we learn from the loss, that's all that matters. Harder to see that lesson, I guess, when it comes at home and, and ends that streak and all that stuff. Definitely, I mean, we don't we don't. Um, we don't lose at home, so I mean that's just something that is harder to, you know, uh, digest. But at the same time, you gotta look at the bigger picture, and you know, it's, it is, um, you know, a game, and you're gonna lose some. You just gotta learn from them. So uh, while it's tough, we, we just gotta make sure we're a better team after this. So. In what ways do you feel like you need to improve after this? Um, we need to know scouting report a little bit better, um, get stops when it matters, which I mean, that's game to game, but you know, we definitely need to get more consistent at that offensively, um, you know, execute. I mean, uh, it could be a lot of different things, but really it's just a combination of all of them and really just focusing in when it matters. And we've been a pretty good team at doing that and we had a slip up today. so. We can learn anything from it. It's just not not have that slip up again. What do you think of Frank's play overall for them? What was that? What do you think of Frank's play overall for them? He was fantastic. I mean, he he uh, carried the team, and uh, I mean that that was big time for him. I mean, he kept us in the game, and uh, you know that's on us to you know make sure that we um, help him out and um, and get the win. But he definitely did his part. Frank got Iowa State at ten in the second half. Have you ever seen a team get hot like that from? Uh, I haven't, especially not in the field house. Um, like Landon said, I think it was a bad job on scouting report, uh, knowing personnel and things like that. How would you describe your fatigue level the last seven days? You've had three really tough games, all three of you three. Um, I felt pretty good on the court. Uh, my win was straight. Um, I think all the guys were, were straight on the court. and. Not really sure if anyone uh, really, really fatigued or anything like that. I think everyone's body's feeling good and wind is straight. I'd agree. Um, you know, body's feeling good. Um, if anything, uh, you could get a little mentally fatigued throughout the season. That's going to happen, especially, um, you know, in the Big 12 and the, the games that we play. But we just got to make sure that we don't let that happen um, and, and not let one game become two. So. What did you think at halftime, Landon? What did you think? You know, what's the difference? At halftime, uh, you know, we felt pretty good about the position we were in, but Coach called it. He said they were going to come out, um, play with a free mind, and um, just just let it fly. And that's exactly what they did. And, and when you're playing against a team that's, that's going out there and shooting the ball, um, you know, just having fun, and, uh, and you let them get comfortable, uh, then you're in for a game, and that's what we let happen. And uh, once we let them back in it, then it was anybody's game. How much of it was bad defense, maybe, and how much of it was just Iowa State shooting the ball really well, you think? Uh, it would be both. I mean, we let them get shots up, um, you know, some open looks, especially in key moments. They got some open looks, but they had to do a good job and knock the shots down. That's what they were doing. I mean, all, all it took was for them to – uh, you know, missed a couple of those, um, and, and they did it. And that's a that's what you know a, a veteran team like them uh, is supposed to do. And, and you know, props to them for hitting those shots. Okay, let's break it up. We were eight for eight from the field, uh, four for four from three, six for six from the line. 
Were you just feeling it? Um, I guess I was just taking whatever the defense uh, gave me, but you know what I did doesn't really matter. I'm just you know focused on our overall performance as a team, and uh, it wasn't good. And the team had 21 turnovers. Is there something Iowa State was doing to lead to that? Uh, not really. I think most of our turnovers, uh, we didn't meet the ball with two hands. Like Coach tell us all the time, uh, don't catch the ball with one hand. You know, go meet it in the air with two. You know, just to get good position and things like that. And some of them was, you know, uh, Iowa State just in the right spots and doing a good job on the defensive end. Did Burton surprise you shooting that well from three? Yeah, definitely. But, um, you know, when we played them at uh, Ames, he shot the ball pretty well. But, but not like that. Uh, it was kind of surprising. But I knew uh, he could get hot at any moment after the first half because he got off to a good start. Frank, a lot of people are going to say maybe there's some distractions going on around the program and that had an effect on today. How would you respond to that? Uh, not at all. We're focused on basketball. That's our job. Uh, we don't focus on anything outside of that besides school. So just let coach deal with all of that. And, you know, we, we're just here to play ball and, and, and go to school. Do you love the position you were in? I mean, to get that last shot, you, uh, you hit it against yeah, Duke. You I mean, had so many big shots this year. I'm sure you had to think you were going to hit that one, didn't you? Yeah, I was pretty confident. Um, you know, I think I went. Well, I went at a good time. I just missed a shot. You know, good defense by uh, Naj Long. And was it. Did you expect him on you, or did you expect Monte on you, or did you even think about it? I wasn't really sure who they put on me. Um, Got about a minute. Yeah, good or bad thing to have a game coming up just in two days? Uh, I think it's a great thing. It gives us a chance to get back and respond to this loss at home, and you know, uh, gives us another chance to get out and you know prepare for. You know, when it really matters. In general, what can you guys do to defend threes better? Just generally. Or pressure the ball, make them feel us. You know, don't give them any space. Um, that's, those are the key things. And just focusing in on scout report, knowing the plays and different personnel, things like that. When you say scouting report, 